I yeah, welcome our dear viewers, people who are like this page of Light Academy, NASA and Primary School, and the YouTube channel. We have created this platform to at least to enable learning to go on even during this case of the pandemic. Uh, we are going to look at the social studies of primary six. This is the first term one topic. And the topic is it's just a review over the work we covered. And the work is not and the topic is none other than the East African community. In term one, before the closure, before the problem, this the pandemic problem we have, we are having today of the COVID-19 came in. We had covered about this topic, which is the East African community. So let's just make a review over this work, the East African community. The East African community is a common market. The East African community is a common market. It's a common market. Which common market was formed by different, by different countries within the region, within the same geographical region? And their aim was to promote trade. By definition, the East African community was an inter, just an integration of countries that came together for a common goal. And it's a common market as the East African community. And we define a common market is a group of countries within the region. A common market is a group of countries which have accepted to work to work together with the major aim of promoting trade. A common market is a group of countries is a group of countries which have accepted to work together with the major aim of promoting trade. It was a group of countries within the region and they accepted to come together within the, within, they accepted to come together in order to promote trade. The historical background of the East African community, historical, Let's first look at this historical background. Historical background of the East African community. Our learners, we looked at this historical background. Before the East African community we have today, let's look at its historical background, how it started. Let's remind ourselves. In 1948, in 1948, the East African community we have today, it started as the East African High Commission. It started as the East African High Commission by this year. Then it changed. How did it change? When Tanzania was about to get independence, Tanzania withdrew. And when it withdrew, and that was by 19. 61 
Of course, Tanzania was just getting ready to get her independence. By 1961, it changed, it again changed its name to the East African High. It changed its name to the East African Common Service organization. It changed its name from East Af African High Commission to East African Common Service Organization in 1961. It never stopped there. Then, in 1967, the East African community, East African community, the East African community we have today, it was formed. It was formed. Let's look at the trend. 1945, it was, it was the East African High Commission was the body joining these countries, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Then it changed. They were major three countries. In 1961, it changed its name. Why did it change? When Tanzania was becoming independent, it changed its name to the East African Common Service Organization. Then it later changed for in 1967 to the current East African community we have today to the current East African community they always ask in which year was the East African community formed this was in 1967 let's look at the members founder Founder, member, founder, member, countries of, founder, member, countries of the East African community. These are one of the founder members. Let's begin with our man, Uganda. We go to Kenya and Tanzania. This is a review. These were one of the founder member countries of the East African community by 1967. It was one of the, these are founder member countries of the East African community in 1967. Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Then let's also remind ourselves the founder member presidents of the East African community, or rather, the personalities who founded the East African community. Founder, member, presidents of the East African community. Number one, we started with Uganda. Who was the founder member president of ESC, East African Community in Uganda? This was Dr. Apple Milton Obote. From where? From Uganda. From Uganda. Number two. Mwali. Julius. Kambaragi. Kambaragi. Nyeri. From Tan 
Tanzania. And lastly, number three, the founder member president. This was Mose. Mose. Jomo. Kenyatta. Mose Jomo Kenyatta. Dr. Apollo Milton Obote. There is a secret behind. The founder member presidents who formed the East African community, or rather who founded the East African community. The secret behind is these were the same people who led their countries to independence. For Uganda, the one who led Uganda to independence was Dr. Apple Milton Obote, with the political party UPC. Uganda People's Congress. Then the one who led Tanzania to independence was my Julius Kambaraki Nyerere from Tanzania. Also, he led Tanzania to independence. The political party was Tanu. Tanganyika African National Union. This word Mualim, this word Mualim, Mualim is a Swahili word, is a Swahili, is a Swahili word. Swahili word meaning teacher. The Swahili word meaning teacher. So he was once a teacher. So that's why he's carrying that title, Mali Julius Kambarage Nyerere. Musei Jomo Kenyatta of Kenya. Musei Jomo Kenyatta of Kenya, his original name was Johnson Kamau. Thank you, my dear viewers. Continue subscribing. We shall continue there. However, you can read more and more and more since this is revision. I love you very much. Bye.